Yo, 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 what it is, YouTubers? Matt the Fanatic is back again. Get out your pencil or your pen. Get out your compass or your ruler. After this, mathematics will be much cooler. All right, so we're bisecting an angle today. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You didn't know I had it in me, did you? Of course not. We're bisecting an angle today, and bi bisecting an angle uh, is actually pretty easy. It only requires one compass setting and three arcs, and uh, normally it can be done pretty quickly. So uh, the first thing we have here is uh, just a generic angle. I haven't named it, right? Uh, I'm just gonna, and that's just because I want to show you how fast this can be done bisecting an angle. Of course, bisecting angle means to cut it in half. So uh, we're expecting to cut this angle in half here. All right. So the first thing you need to do uh, is you take your compass with its needle and you place it on the vertex of the angle. And once you do that, open up your compass to a comfortable length. Um, that works for you and you're gonna strike an arc through uh, both sides of the angle so here I am open through both sides of the angle here and so uh, you can change the setting if you want at this point but you don't necessarily have to for the next two arcs though it has to be the exact same setting so the first arc you can have whatever setting you want as long as it goes through both sides for the next two arcs it has to be the exact same setting so like I said for speed's sake you can just leave it at the same setting the entire way through and it doesn't take much time. So I've struck this first arc. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the compass and I'm going to bring the needle over to one of those intersections. So I place it on one of those intersections and I'm going to strike an arc out here so it crosses through the center, uh, the interior of this angle here. Then I'm going to pick it up and put the needle on the other original intersection I had and again I'm going to make another uh, arc, strike another arc here where it uh, intersects the first arc that I made after this one of course and after that that intersection you need to just take your straight edge and you can create a ray or a line segment and draw it through the vertex of the original angle through the intersection of those two arcs and then voila you have yourself an angle bisector where these two angles here and here are the same measure so it's as easy as one, two, three, folks. If you have any questions, uh, try to rewind the video, play it again. But if you still have questions, go ahead and leave those down below. Deuces!